Hello! Today is Saturday, February 27th, and we're going to be reading from Matthew chapter 18, verse 10 through 20. So if you haven't read it yet, please just pause and we'll be waiting right here, okay? Pause. Oh, you're back. Okay, great. So now that you've read it, our passage today is divided into kind of three sections. The first part is the man with a hundred sheep, right? And then the second one is confronting your brother and sister, okay, when they have sinned, a fellow Christian. And then the last part is kind of repeating uh, the keys of heaven that's appeared a couple of chapters ago. So today I wanted to focus on the front half, which is the man who owns 100 sheep. Uh, have you ever seen sheep in real life? Yes, I have seen the sheep in uh, Gangwon-do province. Oh, did you eat it? Mm, I'm so sorry to tell this, but uh, yes. I have. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I have also. It's tender and delicious. So anyway, so here this man, he has 100 sheep and one of them wanders away. So let's just do some quick math. Even I think first graders can do it. You have 100 and you take one away. How many do you have left, right? It's 99. And I think 99 is not too bad, right? Mm. 99 is not like 50, it's 99. It's almost 100. Mm. So maybe the man, he should just see, oh, well, we lost one like always. What can we do? But we see here that this man, he represents God. And the, the heart of God is not, you know, like, Oh, oh we'll, we'll win some, we'll lose some. No, no, no. God is after that one sheep. Okay, so he leaves the 99 and he goes to look for that one sheep that wandered off. Okay, so when we, we, when we think of God, he is not a God who says, you know, like, you know, I know some of you will be saved and some of you will be, be perished and go to hell. Oh, well, what can we do? No, he wants every single person not to perish. Okay, he wants to save everybody. But it's our choice that we make and also the Holy Spirit must convict us and we have to make a response to God, right? Um, one example I want to talk to you about is uh, sometimes, you know, when I'm vacuuming, I don't vacuum under the couch every time, okay? I don't know, maybe you guys do. I don't do that every time. I vacuum around the sides and under the, under the kitchen table. And then sometimes when I finally get to vacuum under the couch and then I push it away or I lift parts of it away and then we discover things, right? We discover the things that were lost and my children, they have so many toys in their little organization cabinets, but when they find the one toy that was lost, the random Pokemon card, the random, you know, Lego man piece, head, whatever, and there's so much joy in finding that one little piece, I thought it wasn't very important, but for them, when they found it, there's so much joy. And I tell them, please go wash it before you put it there. But you know, it's like that joy that, you know, that one little thing, what does it even matter? No, to God, it really matters, that one person. Would you like to share? Yes. Uh, lately, I've been um, finding so many cards in my wallet, but mm -hmm. I was looking for just one card that is similar to the previous one, and that that card is expired. But I found that this card is so precious to me, uh, which was my ID card, and uh, it reminds me of my youth and everything. So when I found it, oh, this is me before, and then, yeah, finding that lost one, was so much happiness and makes me happy and, yeah, and so much joy. Yes. yes. So remember today that when God looks at you, you're not just one of a million people on the earth, doesn't matter. No, God sees each and every one of us individually. Pastor EJ separately, me separately, you separately, okay? So don't feel like, you know, I'm just going to my school, going to my hagwon or my Zoom meeting, whatever it is. But God is looking at you and he's loving you and he's searching after your heart and he wants you to respond to him. So today, I pray that as you read your word today, that you will experience God's presence with you, a very real presence of God and his love today. Can you pray? Okay, let's bow our heads and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that you love us and not only the people around the world, but you have chosen us and love individually. Father God, please help us to reach out to people and our friends who are lost in this wild, crazy world. But Lord, help us to realize that you are always forgiving us and um, take us into your presence every day. We love you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 See you next time. Bye-bye.